Hey guys, so today we are going to be looking at how much RAM you should get with the new MacBook Pro. The new M1 MacBook Pros come in two different RAM variations. One is the 8GB model and the other is the 16GB model. If I'm not wrong, that's about a $200 difference between the 8GB model and the 16GB model. So how much RAM should you get on the new MacBooks? You can't change the amount of RAM on your MacBook after you buy it. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't make a mistake and end up regretting it later. So the model we got here has 16GB of RAM. And I'll tell you why I got the 16 gigs of RAM and when you should go for the 8 GB model instead. So there is basically two situations where you should go for the 16 GB model. One is where you're a video editor or a photo editor and need a lot of RAM. For example, let me show you right here. If we go to activity monitor real quick, you can see that we are using uh, 6.4 GB of RAM right now out of the 16 GB that we have so uh, there's not even many applications open only Chrome is open and you could see that Chrome is taking up about 300 megabytes of RAM already and we are using about 6 GB now let me open up Final Cut Pro real quick and let's see how much RAM or so this is my previous YouTube video and it's a pretty small project it's only about uh, 4 minutes and it's not a big project so if you're working on a big, big project it's obviously going to be using more RAM but just by opening it right we have used 2.92 GB of RAM about 3 GB of RAM with this small project so that just shows you how much RAM video editing uses and when I start editing and rendering the video it's going to shoot up it's going to go up to 5 or 6 GBs with this 5 minute workflow when you're editing big projects like one hour workflows or two hour workflows you're gonna need a lot of RAM 16 GB in certain circumstances is not going to be enough but that's all you get on the new MacBooks and so if you're going to be doing video editing you should go for the 16 gig version as video editing and photo editing really does require a lot of onboard memory but if you are not going to be doing video editing not going to be doing photo editing then you don't really need the 16 gig model. The new M1 MacBook Pros are really RAM efficient. This is mainly a consequence of Apple using their own silicon as uh, they have been optimizing RAM on the iPhones for a long time now. They can also optimize the RAM on the MacBook. So if you're just going to be doing web browsing and nothing else and maybe writing a few papers on your MacBook, you don't really need 16 gigs of RAM. Of course, if you're going to have 50 tabs open on Chrome, then you should go for the 16 gig version. So let's go to the second situation where you should upgrade to the 16 GB model and that's when your, your budget allows it so if you have extra budget to upgrade your MacBook upgrade your RAM first because you can always buy external storage so if you have a bit of extra money to upgrade your MacBook Pro you should look at upgrading your RAM first and then after you have upgraded your RAM to 16 GBs then you could think about upgrading your SSD but the first thing you should think about when upgrading is your RAM since that's the only thing you can't supplement for in the future. For storage, you could buy an external SSD but for RAM, you can't buy an external RAM. So to summarize, get 16GB RAM if you're a video editor, photo editor, if you're only going to be doing simple web browsing, light web browsing and writing a few papers, you don't really need a, uh, more than 8GB of RAM as the RAM on the MacBooks are already very efficient. The other circumstance you should get 16 gigs of RAM is if your budget allows it. You're not going to be doing video editing or photo editing. I just like this. 8 GB is enough. So that's it for the video. I hope it helped you. Subscribe to my channel for more content on the new MacBook Pro and like this video if it helped you or you enjoyed the video. That's it for this video and I'll see you in another one.